surface free energy. To move a molecule from the inner layers to the surface, work needs to be done against the force of surface tension. In other words, each molecule near the surface of liquid possesses a certain excess of potential energy, as compared to the molecules in the bulk of the liquid. If the surface of the liquid increases, the energy of the liquid also increases. Example, when water is broken into a fine spray. Because this energy is proportional to the size of the free surface, it is called a surface free energy. Principle behind surface free energy. Surface tension is force per unit length, can also be illustrated by means of a three sided wire frame across which a movable bar is placed. AD is a movable bar. A soap film is formed over the area ABCD, this end can be stretched by applying a force F, such as a hanging mass, to the movable bar AD. Length is represented by L. When the mass is removed, the film will contract owing to its surface tension. The surface tension, gamma, of the solution forming the film is then a function of the force that must be applied to break the film over the length of the movable bar in contact with the film. Because the soap film has two liquid gas interfaces that is one above and one below the plane, the total length of contact is in fact equal to twice the length of the bar. Thus, gamma is equal to force upon 2L. Where? F is the force required to break the film, and L is the length of the movable bar AD. To evaluate the amount of work in increasing the surface area, we can write equation as, F is equal to, gamma multiplied by 2L. When the bar is at a position AD, see the figure and a mass is added to extend the surface by a distance T's, the work DW is equal to force F, into D's, which is equal to gamma into, 2L, into, D's. And, because 2L, into, Ds, is equal to the increase in surface area, dA, produced by extending the soap film, dW is equal to gamma into dA. For a finite change, W is equal to, gamma into delta A. Where, W is, the work done per surface free energy increase, expressed in ergs. Gamma is the surface tension. Delta A is the increase in area. Surface tension can be defined as the surface free energy change per unit area. That's it guys. For more videos, subscribe to my channel.